C'est filmé, c'est dans la boîte. Souriez. Elle va rester dans les archives, Alexandra. Mais qu'est-ce que tu veux, Alexandre Mais qu'est-ce que tu veux On va faire un gamin chiant. Ouais. Alexandre Oh non, 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 tu peux pas. Tu goûtes et tu redonnes. Non, mais tu vois. Oh, tu me pètes sur ma glace, là. Ah oui, t'es contente maintenant, hein Ça marche bien, non Obviously the last one of the night, which means we have to wait until about midnight, maybe there, and then just Continue drive straight the onto Avenue Dan Bren uh, N94. Yeah. All in a day's work, easy. Yeah. Once in my life, I'm not late. Uh, Caroline always says being late's my fault, but you know, it's one of the first times in well, pff, several years. Exit that I've been the roundabout the onto Avenue M. Yildiye, then turn right. And, uh, I'm totally Turn on right, then you will arrive at your Le destination. Quattro, le quattro, I see a sign. Ok, le quattro. Je pense qu'on peut pas rentrer dedans. Non. Merci beaucoup, c'est gentil. And just over there is the cinema. It's big. It's a lot bigger than the places we're used to going to. Apparently there's going to be 3,000 people. Seems a bit crazy. One of the really cool things about film festivals that no one really talks about is you're not here just to show off your film, but you're here to also interact with the audience. And this one has a big audience. And so you get to the questions and answers at the end, tell a bit of the story, and really speak to the people and explain why it is you do these things in your life. Here we are, it's the beginning of the, of the night. It's a full house behind us. And uh, obviously my film's the last of the evening, so I've got to try my best to stay awake. It's not going to be too hard with all the cool films that are coming up. There's films on, on caving, on mountaineering, a bit of everything. It's going to be a really cool night. Bonsoir, bonsoir à tous. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Euh, les, euh, on hésitait entre l'Inde, euh, le Pakistan, le Népal, et puis il y a... Pour terminer la soirée, le film s'appelle Le Bronze, c'est un portrait de James Pearson. festival hall in, in Gap. The people were just so friendly, everyone was really nice and I'd have loved to stay a little bit longer. But I'm already on the road driving toward Lyon because, well, I've got a plane some stupid early hour in the morning uh, tomorrow. In fact, no, it's actually today now because we're past midnight. And uh, about three hours of driving to do. I'm 
people are going to have to stop to sleep for a bit become exhausted already. And well, that's just not how it is. But that's what I've got to do to make sure that I'm in Kendall in time to see Caroline. Um, I couldn't let her be there on her own for her first big film, her first big public presentation. And so yeah, needs must. And we are on our way. I'll let you into a little secret though. My secret weapon, down on the floor over there. Since we stopped off in Marseille to do the masterclass with Altissimo the other day, I went to the Haribo store and bought a huge industrial sized box of... Oh putain. Oh putain, j'ai peur. Oh no, 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 okay. But on. We've been on that mountain pass up and down for the last hour or so. But all things considered, we're not doing so bad. I'm not so tired at the minute. We've got another hour and a half, two hours to go. And uh, well, if all else fails, I've got my secret weapon. I was talking about that earlier actually. For me, the thing that works best when I'm driving and I'm tired, it's not coffee, it's candy. So yeah, I've got that, you know, just in case things get really bad. But for the moment, it's okay. Just driving. until about five minutes ago and now you know, I'm really tired. I've eaten pretty much a full packet of Haribo and so as well as feeling tired I feel a bit sick but I try my best to keep on driving a little bit longer and see what it feels like. I think it's official. I'm falling to sleep. I'm gonna have to stop at the next exit and sleep for a bit before we continue any further. I think just to, to keep me awake until we get to the next stop, I've got nothing better than to talk to you guys. See, there's nobody else here with me. You're my only friends. What about film festivals? Makes, makes sense in the theme of today's vlog. Oh, I really ate too much candy. Uh, so, film festivals uh, are really important for climbers and the filmmakers themselves. It's not just a simple thing of having it seen by more people. The real interest is the diversity of people that you that you reach, because that audience is going to be full of demographics that you might not normally be able to reach with your kind of typical social media audience. You're going to be able to show your work to people that would never normally see it. You're also likely to have the journalists of various sorts in the audience watching. And if you've done a good job and if you present well, then you know maybe this is going to lead to more publication in the future. I say present well because probably the most important thing of, of a film festival, and in fact the reason that they'll even take your film in the first place, is because... Part of the job is to be there and be on stage and this just makes it so much more of a in-depth engaging experience for the for the public and so a lot of the time when you submit films to festivals they're gonna take them on the proviso that you can actually be there which is sometimes asking a lot like a lot of the other work of a professional climber this is work this is some of the stuff that might not be the most fun things to do although to be honest being up there on a stage in front of thousands of people is kind of cool. Oh. Okay, I really need to stop. It might not be the most fun thing to do, but it's something that we have to do to build our career. That's why film festivals are really important, and I still don't see a service station anywhere to pull into. Oh god, we're just going past Grenoble, so we're still a fair way off Lyon. I'm destroyed. <gasps> Yay! I'm saved. Oh, it doesn't look like the most luxurious of a uh, of sleeping spots, but at this stage in the game, I really don't care. Well, this looks like it's going to be home sweet home for the night. I've got my friends, the truckers, just over there. And there's one other camper van in the car park that definitely looks like more of a camper van than me. So if anybody's going to get bothered, I guess it's going to be those guys. The only thing left...